Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol VT76. This signal will repeat. Vault Tech will not forgive this vandalism. There will be consequences. Whoever you are. It's been hard to maintain the faith. How's it going guys, it's a final render here, and welcome to the episode of Fallout 4 Building with Mods, which looks at the vault -Tec Workshop. I'm very late with this video, as I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, but not only is using this workshop set a complete pain in the rear, but also I've been doing lots of other stuff, like I've been working away a few times, and I've be making lots of other videos as well. But for now, we're going back to Fallout 4, building with mods. We're going to start by scrapping everything in Vault 88 so that we've got plenty of resources to work with, and we're going to start by building our main atrium. I deliberately decided, let's make the atrium quite small. That way, if I need to change anything, it won't be a problem later, and I'm very glad I did. One problem with the vault -Tec Workshop is that if you need to change something later on, snapping can be a huge, huge issue. So therefore I'm very happy I actually made it quite small. And the atrium itself is a very tall building and it's got two floors in there so that we can have plenty of access to rooms elsewhere such as the accommodation on the second floor and all of our kind of facility access on the bottom floor. And we're able to use some of the hanging floors to make a really nice looking sturdy structure. And here we go, here is the kind of finished atrium. As I said, pretty darn small actually. We've got access to the overseer's office at the back, as well as facility access on the floor and domestic at the top. And now it's time to build the overseer's office. The overseer's office is actually quite nice and spacious, and I really like the wooden texture they've got in here, it looks really nice, and it links up perfectly to the window le leaning into the atrium. And we have got the Vault 88 overseer's desk, which you need for all the quests. And now, it's time to decorate the place. We put up some lights and we put up some of the cool vault -Tec statues, which are very low res but look kind of cool. And then after a few more minutes of decoration, we have got this. Using some of the objects from Settlement Objects Expansion Pack, we're able to get lots of cool monitors and lots of cool shelving in there. And it looks pretty darn nice. Still plenty of space to add stuff, but it looks like a very professional office where all you do is work. And now, of course, we're going to go back into the main atrium and then we're going to put up some rails just to make the place look nice. And we need to have our first facility. This is going to be a very long corridor going all of the way to what is going to be our workshop area, where we will have machines to manufacture everything we need for the vault. We have got an awful lot of space in Vault 88. In fact, I'd say we've probably got a little too much space to do something decent with. But hey, we're going to try. And seeing as this corridor is so long, I'm going to go ahead and use the conveyor belts from the Contraptions DLC in order to make some little conveyors which can take you to and from. Kind of like a floor escalator, so to speak. The idea being that you might be carrying lots of heavy stuff from the workshop, so therefore it would be nice if we didn't have to walk down this really unnecessarily long corridor in order to offload all of the stuff you've just created. And now here we are in one of the other wings. The entire Vault 88 is made up of several wings which you can build in, and they do give you a huge amount of space, which I was very surprised by. But in this section here, we are going to be making our workshop. It's going to be a simple little factory facility which will make everything that we could ever need in the vault and also lots of stuff that we can sell to visitors who come in through the front door. And here we are with our space. We're going to use one of the fusion generators which I think isn't too ridiculous to see inside the vaults and we're going to use some of the machines from the Contraptions DLC to make ourselves a conveyor belt system that should produce everything we need. They are a bit too big to actually fit inside the vault tech assets so therefore I had to shrink them down by a quarter of their size just so they actually fit in the workshop area but now that they all fit they still don't look out of place they still look big enough and then we are able to power them up using some of the vault power conduits and powering stuff in the vault workshop is a huge huge issue but 
We managed to get it to work in this case, connected all the machines to one central computer, and we could start manufacturing everything we would sell and everything we would need to survive in one workshop area, such as hundreds of Voltec lunchboxes which we can sell to the rest of the wasteland area. And now that we've done that, it's time to decorate the place. Using some cool scaffolding rails to make sure that nobody interferes with the machines, we're able to make some kind of safety features and also have some labels in there to make it look good. And now we're just going to basically fill the place with tables and workshops for people to work in. Because not everyone would just be looking at these machines, they would also be making lots of other stuff using the regular stuff from the crafting menu. And as you start to layer everything on top of another, it does start to look pretty good and we've got an awful lot of space to get pretty much every kind of crafting bench in the game in this one section. And also able to pull up lots of cool signs and using some cool decorations from the crafting fury such as these fully stacked shelves and using lots of assets from OC Decorator, we're able to make a place that really does look like quite a busy workshop. There is an awful lot of stuff in here and I imagine there would be an awful lot of people working down here. And now going back to the atrium, we were able to make another very long corridor in order to get to one of the other wings of Vault 88 so that we can build a little gym. I wanted to build the gym because we've got some cool new gym assets that we haven't had previously, even with some of the mods, but also we were able to get some power generated from this place. Whilst I'm okay with putting power generators wherever I need them, I think it is important for this video to have these Power Cycle 1000 bikes, which your settlers can climb onto and produce power. However, every time I did it, they never actually worked. They were definitely glitched. This was still from the very first day of it being released and they did not work for me. But it's got some cool animations in there. We've also got the pommel horse and the weights, which is always cool. And now we need a cafeteria, because how are we gonna generate power from our settlers if our settlers have no energy in the first place? So we're gonna make a pretty large cafeteria area, which has lots of decorations and lots of room for people to sit down and have their food. And um, again, we are going to have a kind of kitchen area which has a serving kind of buffet table, as well as all of the double benches so that we can get as many bums on seats as possible and feed as many survivors as we possibly can. And it is a pretty darn big cafeteria actually, it's probably one of the biggest rooms we have got in the vault actually, the cafeteria, besides the atrium itself. And we really do need that space in order to get some of the really cool decorations in there from OC Decorator. Because the thing about the cafeterias is, as you start to add more and more decorations, they start to look far more convincing. Because you've got so much colour and you've got so much variety of stuff to make kitchens with the Fallout 4 mods. Then we're able to get some really nice stuff by having a large amount of space in there. Not only that, but it actually makes sense as well. This vault is really, really huge, so we need to have an awful lot of space for people to sit down and have a regular three meals a day, which they'll be getting the food from people trading outside, and also they've got the food processor in the main workshop, so therefore, these guys will have plenty of food, they just need the place to actually go down and enjoy it using some cool mats and stuff to actually help decorate the floor a little bit and also kind of get some kind of system of going to the buffet table and then back to the tables, kind of like a little map. And we also need one of the new soda fountains so that we can pump our settlers full of hallucinogenic drugs so that they can do whatever we please when they're eating at this cafeteria. As well as some cool decorations from the Crafting Fury again, such as all these coffee sets that Eleonora has probably spent a long time thinking about what kind of coffee sets she needs in her mods, because there are so many. And some really cool decorations such as this Sparta sign, which I believe comes from a Selman Objects expansion pack. And there we go, that is the cafeteria done. It's a little dark and dingy I'm afraid, because as I said, lighting inside this actual place is a huge nightmare, but we've got an awful lot of colorful decorations to kind of bring a little bit of life in there at least. If you can imagine the place just had decent lighting, unlike the vault -Tec workshop doesn't have, then everything would be pretty good in here. And now we need to actually have some accommodation for our settlers, don't we? The accommodation is going to all be based on the upper floor of the atrium and is going to have rooms within rooms so that we have got a little place to sleep and live as well as a separate lavatory area so people can have their privacy. When we start to build the quarters, it is actually possible to get rooms within rooms, but it is a bit fiddly because of all of the snapping issues that they have in the vault workshop, but overall it is possible, especially if you've got some mods and some experience, to make rooms within rooms using these vault assets as you can see here. We have got our little lavatory area in here, which actually does look pretty darn good, even though it has got the kind of steel part of the other cap in there, but it'll definitely work for the sake of this video. 
The Homemaker mod has given us plenty of decorations to make the lavatories look like an actual function in place, and we're also going to use some other decorations that we've seen in this video, such as do it yourself in order to make some really highly stacked shelves in a very quick amount of time. Very good mod, definitely recommend that. And also we have got Law Friendly Flag Pack HQ in order to get some more decorations around the little rooms just to give them some life. And after that's done, there is another main facility we actually need in this place, and that is, of course, a clinic in case anybody gets hurt. And the clinic is going to be built on the lower floor, right next to the cafeteria. And the clinic is actually one of the nicer parts of the vault, I think, because when you start to light the clinic areas, they do start to look quite bright and vibrant. And also, you, we've got an awful lot of decorations for medical areas, from OC Decorator, from Homemaker, from Settlement Objects Expansion Pack, etc. And once we've actually got some power into there, the place does start to look really quite nice and like a clinic already. And I honestly believe that that is because we have got so many assets for medical areas with all the mods we have got. I highly recommend you invest in your decoration mods more than your building mods because those are the places that make your settlements come to life so that they can actually have a believable atmosphere which is far more fun to play in. And we've got some cool things that are new as well, such as the kind of eye examiner. And we've also got the surgery chair, which is now part of the vanilla game if you've got the DLC. So that's pretty good. We've always had them with the mods, of course, but now we have got them as part of the vanilla game. So it's pretty nice that you can do that in your own settlements as opposed to traveling all the way to Diamond City to change your character's appearance. And here is the clinic done. The shelves are pretty darn stacked with things from Do It Yourself. And we've got some really nice gurneys in there with some cool new posters, which are from the actual DLC now. Even though we had some with mods, we have now got some new ones with the DLC as well. And the place is starting to look like a very nice functioning clinic. It is definitely my favorite part of the vault thus far. But now that that's done, we need to start thinking about how we can actually live in this vault other than producing things to sell. We are actually going to have a school and a nursery. Using the mod Vault 88 More Vault Rooms, we have got more textures to work with when building our little capsule rooms. I believe Settlement Objects Expansion Pack also gives you some new ones as well as the Build Your Own Vault mod. However, these are the ones I've used for here. And we're going to have the nursery and the school connected in the same room so that the young kids can play at the back while the older kids are learning at the front. And it also means maybe just some of the younger kids might hear something that the older kids are learning and remember it for when they're older. One really cool decoration I love having in the little nursery areas is the Boston Big Heads, which adds all of the cool little badges which you can see in the loading screens into the settlement mode, and I think that's a really cool idea. And we've also got lots of other little toy decorations and OC decorators as well, as well as things like pencils and typewriters and phones and everything you would have in a school or office environment. So here we go. Here is the nursery and school combination room. Unfortunately, I think the school room doesn't actually look very exciting. There's not much color, but the nursery, I think, looks really darn nice, actually. The wallpaper in the nursery is definitely spot on, and I really like it. I think it really does help bring this little nursery environment to life as well as kind of tell you what kind of vault it is but now of course we need my own room the builder I'm the one who actually built this vault so I think I should get a pretty nice luxury penthouse don't you think so so using one of the elevators from contraptions I am able to get to the very top floor get a pretty good view of the entire vault actually from the outside and use some of the luxury rooms that you can get from the more vault 88 mod that we used earlier and this is going to be a little separate area away from the vault that only I can access through this door here we will have our very own luxury penthouse apartment at the very top of the vault so that I can see exactly what's going on if any of the power starts to go out I'll know and I'll have a pretty good idea as to how the vault is doing in my luxury secret room and we're going to light it using the subway lights just kind of give it a little bit of extra flavor and use a lot of pre-war assets in this whilst it's true that not everyone likes using pre-war assets because it's law friendly i personally enjoy it i think it makes the game really good fun and that's what it's about isn't it we've got some cool armor racks that we got from the contraptions dlc which i'm able to decorate with the vault 88 suits and we're also able to put down some really nice furniture and some really nice decorations but once again, I need my own personal little toilet area, so why not give myself my own little lavatory at the back with some golden toilets and golden sinks. I believe these are from the Selman Objects expansion pack, but hey, my players are baller, so they're going to have some golden utilities. What do you say? We're also going to have a little CD player and also my own little coffee bar. This is just so I don't have to go down with all the rest of the plebs and go get coffee from the cafeteria. And now, using a very unlaw friendly Windows 10 computer and wireless keyboard, the luxury apartment is done. 
I really like this place actually. This is now my new favorite part of the vault because it's very separate to the rest of the vault. Everyone else is kind of purely focused on production and staying safe. Whereas my luxury room is purely about just having a really nice environment to chill out that is 100% safe from the rest of the Commonwealth. And when you start to look at the vault, overall i actually do start to like it quite a lot it's a bit of a small vault actually a lot of people have built huge vaults with atriums that fill the entire first area but as i said i wanted to make a smaller area so it's easy to make changes and i can do that i can expand this vault should i want to but we do have an awful lot of facilities here we've got everything we could possibly need in a settlement and it still has the added benefit of being safe in an underground vault and now I suppose I've got to answer the question, is this DLC worth buying? I will say, it's entirely up to how much you'd like to use for settlement mode. I do feel as if using this to build an actual settlement is probably far more effort than it's actually worth. However, if you really enjoy using the settlement mode, give it a go. You know, it's very cheap and there are some cool assets in here, even if some of the snapping and actually building need some work. A lot of the decorations they give you are pretty nice. So with that being said, Thanks very much for watching the video, this has been the final render. I know it's been a very long time since I've done Fallout 4 building with mods, but I've decided rather than doing a video every two days like I've been doing for the last few weeks, I'm going to go back to making videos maybe once or twice a week. That way I can actually do bigger videos such as building with mods far more often. So, thanks very much for watching guys, this has been the final render and you have been the audience. Remember to check out some of the previous videos which I've been doing recently, such as I decided to bring back the Fallout 4 Survival Let's Play, and also we got a pretty cool video on Kerbal Space Program, a game I definitely enjoy, and I think you guys will like it as well. So, once again, thanks very much for watching, and tune in next time. This has been the final render, and you have been the audience. Bye-bye for now.